All right, so for this question, I asked you guys to try this on your own. So let's see how you did here. All right, so we have two people pulling a 95 kilogram sled with the following forces. 120 newtons east, 15 degrees north, and 120 newtons south, 75 degrees east. If the coefficient of friction is 0.12 for the combination of the two surfaces, determine the acceleration of the cart. And then I give you a bunch of steps to follow. Everyone has this, so I'm going to take this off the screen while I draw the picture. So it says draw a free body diagram from the top view and the side view. I'll just put this over here. Okay. So from the top, okay, if I'm looking down from the top, here is my sled. And I seem to always draw everything going to the right. I'm just going to put a little um, set of axes here. So it says that I have 120 newtons east, 15 degrees north. So here's my never eat shredded wheat. So I'm going to point east and I'm going to rotate 15 degrees towards the north. Okay, so there's my one vector. That's 120 newtons. Okay. So this right here is 15 degrees, all right? And the other force is 120 newtons south, 75 degrees east. So I point south, and then I rotate 75. So that's almost like that. So this is 75 degrees. This is 120 newtons. Now, <clears throat> this is, like I said, this is the top view. So if I'm pulling this way, friction will most likely be in that direction. And the force of friction is equal to mu Fn. All right, so what you need to do is I did give these force vectors in a tricky way on purpose. So part of what you need to do once you have this drawn is realize, because this is 90 degrees here, that this is also 15 degrees. So these are symmetrical meaning that this is 15 degrees up and this is 15 degrees down. So if I was doing the components of these vectors, this vector right here is going to have a horizontal component, okay, and a vertical component, okay. And the other one as well will have a vertical and horizontal component. I hope you guys can see this. Oops. If not, you can always ask me questions later. So here is a horizontal component and a vertical component, and that's 90 degrees. So what I want you to realize right here, because these are the same forces, 120 newtons, 120 newtons, these two vectors will be the same amount, and these two vertical vectors will also be the same but they are in the opposite direction. So I want you to think for a moment, what would those vertical components add up to be? So in other words, if I took these two and add them, they're gonna to add to zero. So really, what am I left with? For the, this is the top view. I'm left with force of friction equals mu F N. Okay, and then I'm left with two of these, but they're not 120, okay? They are the adjacent side. This is 120 newtons here. If you want to write it here, these are the hypotenuse because they are opposite the 90 degrees. So each of these, it's actually two times because there's two of them, 120 newtons. But if we did our Sokotoa, right? We do components. This is the adjacent side. So that's cos. So that's going to be cos of 15 degrees. So if I want to find um, F net here, because I need to find the acceleration of the cart, I'm going to have to find F net. So my next thing is to find out what the force of friction is and 
that depends on Fn. So now when I do the side view, so this was top, now I need to do the side view. Okay, if I'm looking from the side, here's my cart, okay, here's my pulls, and here's my friction. Okay, so I'm going to do F pull. I realize I can't see both of these, but it doesn't really matter. I also have the normal force and I have the force of gravity, and those are going to be equal because it's not moving up or down. So the force of friction is actually mu mg because fg equals fn in this case. Yes, they're in opposite directions, but I'm just talking about the magnitude. So now I know what the force of friction is. So let's go ahead and figure out what f net is. Okay. So here we are. So let's write out what F net is. F net equals, I have the force of pull. If you want, you can do pull one and pull two. Let's just, let's do like this. F net equals FP1 plus FP2 plus the force of friction. So there's three forces. All right, but the only force that's causing an acceleration is the horizontal force. So now F net equals MA. All right, and I wanted to solve for acceleration. I'm going to put these in here, but I have to remember these are in the opposite direction. So these two here I already figured out. Okay, that's there. So I'm going to put the whole thing in. I'm just going to multiply. This is going to be 240 newtons times cos of 15 degrees, all right? This is to the right, and this is to the left. So to the right is positive. Hope I'm still on screen here, yep. And instead of adding this, I'm going to subtract the mu mg because the force of friction is mu mg. So mu, I'm gonna go look at my paper, is 0 0.12. M is the mass of my sled which is 95 kilograms, and g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And I'm not going to bother putting any direction in here because I just said positive to the right. Now I'm trying to solve for acceleration. So the last thing I need to do is divide by m, and I get that. Now m, we said is 95, so you can put the 95 in there. I'm going to put 95 kilograms. And now I'm going to put all this junk in my calculator. Okay, so I have 240 times cos of 15. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. All right, so that's the force of the pole. And then I'm going to subtract 0.12 times 95 times 9.8. Close the brackets. So that right there is my numerator, the 120 decimal, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to divide that by 9 point, sorry, not 9.5, 95 kilograms. And I'm going to get 1.26. I'll put them the four. All right. Now I didn't put any, well, I did put units in here. This is newtons. This is kilogram meters per second. So that's newtons. But then I divided by a kilogram. So I'm going to put an extra step in here. Okay. This came out to be a positive value. So that means it is to the right because it came out to be a positive value. So my final answer is approximately 1.3 because I only two, two significant figures here, and this is only two anyway. And that's going to be meters per second squared to the right. There's my final answer to this question. And hopefully these steps helped you, okay? Um, so this was number one. And then I did number two here in my free body diagram. And I added them up in the vertical and said that that adds to zero because of symmetry. So really I'm just left with the horizontal components, all right? Then here I figured out an expression for the normal force. Okay, because it's balancing out the force of gravity. Here's F net. This would be step six. Okay, 
And then step seven, putting F net equals MA. And this is the thing you guys have to remember, F net. And I know I sound like a broken record, but you can mute me if you want, because really I don't have a choice. Uh, F net is the sum of the forces, but it's also equal to M times A. All right, I hope that helps. And pause wherever you need to. Bye-bye.